Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay. I've made my own labels. I already did a, one video. So here are my labels. And um, sometimes as a small business, when you have downtime, you got to do the stuff you really don't like. So what I'm doing is putting my business labels on my bags because it costs too much to have companies do them for you. So you have to order so many bags and it really just gets expensive. And you still, they're still charging you per letter. Um, most places you have to order 500 bags to 1,000 bags. Um, so I did my first set. I think it's like 25 bags. But that's my first set. Those are my small bags. And here's my bigger ones that I started. And I really have to psych myself up for this because you want to be doing everything else. But when you can't afford to uh, hire people, you got to do what you have to do. And I don't have any kids in the family that I know can do this. I have some kids, but they're young. So I do want my labels on straight as possible. So I don't think I want my little seven-year-olds doing this. And the only teenager I have lives in another state. So this is what I do when I have downtime. I do my little things. Um, I have a lot of shows booked up. I try to book the um, Guinness Stout, have a festival every year. It's kind of expensive, but it's a two-day event, so I try to book that. Um, I believe it was like $300 for the two days, and I usually don't do shows that high, but um, it, you have to pay your application fee, and then they select, and I didn't get selected, so I'm kind of bummed out, you know, about it, but it is what it is. But on a good thing, I saw another show that I kind of like double booked because I didn't pay attention to my calendar. I got the months mixed up, so I did get booked anyway. Um, it's not the Guinness show that I wanted to do, but baby steps. I'm just trying to grow my business. I um, was doing good when I first started this business, so I took a different position on my job and wasn't really focusing and I was using a lot of money when I was paying myself for the business. Um, I was using the money that I earned and was helping with my kids' tuitions and stuff because both were in college at the time. So um, only thing I put back into the business is stuff to buy supplies and a little nest, but I did pay myself because I was making enough where I could pay myself a little stipend. It wasn't much, but it was enough. But I was already working. So I stopped working about two years ago. I stopped working to take care of my husband because he got very sick. And he's a good guy, so I had to take care of him. So he's better, thank Jesus. Or whoever you want to thank. Spirits. Um, so he's back at work. And unfortunately, I found another job. I needed to start paying down my debt, but um, that job didn't go well. The people were, oh, I've never in my life worked with a bunch of people that was, I don't know. It wasn't for me, and I just had to remove myself because it was messing with my spirit. When you don't feel comfortable, you know when you, you belong at a place of work. You know if you feel comfortable. You can hear the little sly remarks and mean girl stuff and and I'm too old. I don't look old, but I am too old for certain things. And at this point in age in my life, I'm not going to argue and fuss with people. So, um, tomorrow will be my last day. And um, I don't know if he knew it was coming or not. Um, but it's almost like he knew it. He, you can tell I wasn't... I didn't fit in. I didn't fit in. And... They make it possible for anyone to fit in, but just need to hear that I'll have peace of mind. My stress level is gone. I can put my energy back into my work. My husband is working, but I do have quite a nest egg 
if I really, really need something or our income falls, you know, but, um, or we get into, you know, an issue. We do have a nice big nest egg that we can, you know, use. So always set money aside. I don't care if it's $5, $2, $20 and don't touch it. That you never know that adds up. I'm not the one. I do my own hair. So I don't have to go and get my hair retwisted with my um, locks. I do them myself. So if I was actually going to get maintenance, it would be $65 every two months. So I take that $65, I put it away. I don't do my nails. Um, my nails were long, but I keep them short now because my business, you know, doing a lot of stuff with my hands. So if I went and got my hair, nails done every week with $25, $30, I don't know how much they charge anymore. So every two weeks, I take $30 and I set it aside. You will be shocked the nest egg you have. My cars, I paid off before time, so I would still act like I had a car payment for like the first year or so. So I would put that money away in the kitty. Unfortunately, with me leaving the job I was at for almost 17 years, I would have um, had a bigger nest egg because I was contributing um, to my 401k. But because... It was like and it was an issue for me to take off, to take care of my husband. You know, that's when you know that sometimes you can't dedicate your entire being, your entire life to a position or to a job that's not going to respect you and things that you need to do. So um, I made the decision and I just left. I thought I did the best I did for me and my family. However, I'm starting my business all over again. So, I say I'll do my little events, my vending events, save my money, put some stuff to the side. I'll work part time. I'll find me a part time job if I can't find a full time. Um, I do have a lot of friends that have their own businesses. So, they say I can always pitch in and they can pay me part time. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to work part-time, and that way I can still pay my personal bills so it won't put too much stress on the mister, which he does not mind, but me personally, always working since I was 14 and going in the military. I was in the military. I was still in high school. I'm going to be honest. I joined the military. I was in 11th grade. I had the age, but I didn't graduate. So I had to do um, reserves in 11th and 12th grade. And as soon as I graduated out of the 12th grade, there's my bundle. As soon as I graduated in the 12th grade, I was out. So um, that was a good experience. I did eight years in the military. I wish I had retired in the military. I didn't. But I also, like I said, I make all natural products like soaps, lotions from scratch, Body butter, sugar scrubs, the odors. I do it all. You can visit my website, www.tiliasnaturalsoaps.com. That's www.tielas naturalsoaps.com. So you can see everything that I make on that website. I do ship. And if you're in the area, you can pick it up. But um, that's what I do. Don't never let anybody kill your joy. If you think you can get out there and you can bring your designs and everything to fruition, I say go for it. Even if you take baby steps, don't go broke, broke doing it. You know, uh, business is a, you know, make or break, but you just got to stick with it and go slow. I've been doing this for about 10 years now and like I said it's almost like I'm starting all over again but it's cool so but you learn and I learned to focus on me my children are grown so they don't need mama anymore so um, they have their own place so it's time for me the only baby I have is my lazy fur baby that's out there laying on the let me see if I can show you him. He's laying there on the floor. You see all my stuff on it. I got a pot of oils that I have to make soaps with a bad uh hair detox balm on there. Then I have um 
on that table. I had some stuff for a baby shower I need to put in the bag. Um, I'm all over the place, but that's my fur baby. He will not go downstairs. He wants to go in his cage, but he won't go downstairs until Mama go downstairs, and I don't want to. I just did this room. It's all pink, and this is my little haven for myself. My husband has downstairs. I have upstairs. So everything in here is mostly pink and white. So when I get extra money, I'm going to redo downstairs for him. And it's going to be more like a music studio because he loves music. He loves mu music, movies, good cigars. He used to work for uh, BET when it was in Washington, D.C. But um, he met a lot of people. He has a lot of great stories. But um, that's what I'm focusing on right now. And I know I'm doing a lot of jibber-jabber and talking. But I'm just letting you know, if you have a business and you want to focus on your business or start a business, do some research, take your time, and, and do it. There's no fa only failure there is is not trying it. And I started this business and I named it after my mom who passed away, which I loved her. So that's where my mother name was actually Aurelia, but everybody called her Tilia. Well, my aunt called her Tilia. Everybody else called her Tia. So I named the business Tilia. Tia and Aurelia. I come with Tilia. So um, go ahead and start your business. Don't depend on friends and family to buy and take from you. Never depend on them. You got to get out there and hustle. And I'm going to be honest, I am old-fashioned when it comes to business. I will put a sample of soap with my business card in a little bag, and I will pass them out. I've gone to family, not family functions, but like little places where, like this group I'm, where I'm from, they always have like big cookouts and stuff and you can donate money or whatever. They and they use it to give back to children, buy um, school supplies, shoes, whatever, turkeys or whatever. So I will go to their event and I'll ask them at first because I don't want to be rude. And I go there and they tell me I can pass my little stuff out for free and that's what I do to drum up business. So um, when I do, uh, I give out freebies at my events. Um, I won't give a whole bar, so if I'll give a small sample of something. A lot of people will take a, a, a business card, even if they don't buy anything. You know, I don't get mad at that. You know, ask a thousand and one questions. You don't know if they're going to pass that card to somebody else or a couple of months later. Say, oh, let me, I remember this woman. Let me see what she has to help me out. So you never know. So don't get discouraged. I had events where I only sold one thing. It is what it is. It's called business. So, um, I do little um, community events, church events, block parties, Juneteenth. I do it all. I didn't do the Juneteenth last year in Annapolis, Maryland because it got so expensive. So, when you're a small business, when things start becoming $380, $400, then you got to get insurance that's normally another $100. You you know, unfortunately, you can't do it. So, but you can still go because it's free. You just don't have a table, event table. You can still pass out your stuff. So, um, or if you know somebody that wants to split a table, you can. But even with 380, that's still a lot. I don't understand why people charge so much for open air things. I don't know if they charge that much or insurance for you to hold something. I wish they try to go get a 501c or something. It might be a little cheaper, but I don't know. But I didn't do it last year. It was too expensive. I can't. And people ask me all the time. But selling bars of soap for $6 is not a whole lot of money. At the end of the day, you got to do a lot of sales. Um, the highest thing I have like, is a Yoni kit, which is $60, but you're getting a lot of stuff in that kit. But selling soaps and sugar scrubs, $10, $12 or whatever, candles, $15, that's, that really makes you have to budget your money to do an event that's going to be $380, $120 for insurance. 
that that's a lot. So um, it is what it is. I did an event supposed to be um, all black community. I did an event. It was a two day event and it was expensive, and they did not buy anything. And I was so shocked for this for them to have this. And nobody, they just came for the free music giveaways, and that's it. So I was a little disappointed at my people. But like I said, it is what it is. Um, even when you want to talk to them, you're not even selling anything. You try to give away free stuff. They walk past like they obligated to buy anything. I mean, like, it's free, lady. Or you have questions, go ahead and ask. But I don't know. It is what it is. So, I think I'm all tired out right now. I did enough chitting and chatting about starting your business, but here's all my stuff. Let me show my camera around so you can see my little pink room. Isn't that cute? That shelf, leaning shelf, used to be brown. I repainted it. Here's my pink couch. Me. Um, I got pictures on the wall. I don't know if you can see it. One second. I'm so tacky. Yeah, that's my little room. I did this myself. So when everybody moved out, I decided, let me change that room to myself. The only thing this carpet is in here is green, but pink and green goes together. Pink and green, a.k.a. I'm not an a.k.a. I'm not a sorority person, I, but I love Deltas and use 85 Beta. That's who I love, but... um. Eventually, I'm going to get a, a white rug or just a white area rug. I was going to do pink at first, but it might be too much pink. So, I might just do white to even it out some. But that's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Toodles. And happy Thursday.